Okay, so this is the schematic of our well without ESP. But now we will install ESP to our well. Usually we perform design and we do the design by inputting the data here. The calculation will be done here. But let's assume I skip that. Okay, let's assume that I already know the design, the proper design of my ESP to this well. So I can skip this one, cancel. If you're interested in ESP design, you can check my video on my other videos in this channel, or maybe later on in the future, we can create more videos about ESP. Okay, but in this video, I will just concentrate on the modeling of the well, and I just straight on input the ESP, install the ESP to my well. Okay, and here we open this section. Okay, you can follow me. Pump measure depth at the bottom of my tubing, 2,500 feet. Operating frequency at 60 hertz. Maximum pump OD six inches, still smaller than the casing ID. Length of the cable, 2,750 feet. Gas separator method enter separator efficiency and the efficiency let's assume 90 percent liquid level will be entered and the liquid level the operating liquid level will be 2000 feet okay so you can see for esp operation we don't use packer there will be liquid level dynamic liquid level or operating fluid level, operating liquid level inside the annulus, and we keep it at 2,000 feet. Okay, and then the stages, the number of the stages, 58. Okay, and then for the voltage at surface, 465, pump wear factor zero, gas derating model none, allowed taper. ESP? No. And then for the current pump, I will open the drop down menu and I will find my pump, Centrilief, and then R7. Centrilief R7. Where are you? This one, four inches. And the range of the rate is 500 to 900 barrel per day. Okay, I will select that and you can get the pump curve here. All right, so far so good. You can check the pump curve. We have several operating frequencies, 40 hertz to 70 hertz. And then we have minimum operating range, maximum operating range, and the best efficiency line. Okay, all right. I will maximize the window. Let's check it again, okay? So you can see this is the minimum operating range, maximum operating range, best efficiency line. This one is the line for 40 Hertz, 50 Hertz, and then 60 Hertz and 70 Hertz, okay? For each head. All right. And then for the motor, open the drop down menu. I will find Sentry Leaf 562. All right. 38 horsepower. Where are you? 38 horsepower. Okay, quite difficult to find. 435 voltage. Okay. We'll check it. Reda motor, ODI motor, Novamed. Okay, comprehensive list. Where are you? Five six two. 
53 ampere. Okay, I think we can select this one. Okay, let's choose this one. And this is the motor, the, the motor curve, the nameplate, the amperes, efficiency, power factor, and the line for the percentage nameplate amps, motor efficiency, the green line. Okay. And then for the power factor, the blue line and motor speed, 40 Hertz through 70 Hertz, 40, 50, 60 and 70. Okay, you can do this on your Prosper and learn it by yourself. Okay. All right. And lastly, for the cable, open the drop down menu, one copper, 0 0.26, 23 amps max. Okay. So this is my pump configuration, the pump depth, the operating frequency, max OD, and then the efficiency for the gas separation, the liquid level, the stages, the voltage, and others. Okay. So far, so good. We can click done. And the picture will change to ESP well. Okay. So this is the schematic of our well our onshore or online well with ESP. And now we are ready to perform calculation. And in this video, I will concentrate on generating VLP, vertical lift performance. So we do that by using calculation VLP or tubing curves.